What's up guys, Jabor Moho, back with a video for you guys. Um, I'm going to give you guys a nice little commentary here. I have a few things I want to touch on um, because it's really, it really bothers me, like, seeing the whole competitive world having to change. Um, you guys know I've been playing for like three and a half years, going on f actually four years of strictly competitive, meaning no kill streaks, no score streaks, whatever. Uh, and I liked it. And um, we all liked it. You know, we all had to rely on gun skill. We had to rely on our our con You know, basically, you know, our our senses. Basically, you know, we we have gut feelings. You know, you have to be smart. You have to know when to move. You know, you know what I mean. You can't like you have to manipulate the maps with just yourself, like your own. You know, you and your gun. And um, I understand why a lot of the competitive people are. Uh, more so angry um, than happy about the new changes. Well, because I see both sides now, I've did my research. I've I've tried to understand why is it that people play more uh, kill streaks and score streaks and stuff. Why is it more entertaining to watch? And um, you know, I gathered some points and I figured I would talk to you guys about it and try to help you better understand why Vondahar is going into. To the direction that he's going and why we should follow um, but I do uh, feel like we should still keep because I'm competitive I feel like we should still fight to keep some of um, some of it competitive uh, such as UAVs I think that UAVs need to be out of the game anything that shows you on radar isn't skillful in my opinion uh, you can also argue and say that we should use ghosts. That's fine. I'll be using ghosts. If you want to have UAVs, I'll be using ghosts. I understand that. Um, but I'm just saying in general, UAVs have never been competitive. Uh, bouncing Bettys, Claymores, all that, all of that stuff. You know, um, th that should be gone because it, it's just imagine yourself in a, in 15 seconds. You you play. You make an amazing play in S and D. It's a one v one. 15 seconds. You make an amazing play. You juke the guy. He goes A. You go B. You go to plant the bomb, you crouch, and a, a bouncing Betty goes off. It doesn't kill you, but now the guy knows you're there. There's 15 seconds left. It's 7.5 seconds to plant. You either have a chance to plant it and die, or stay there and wait and try to kill the guy coming after you. You see where I'm going with this? As opposed to going to the bomb site and making an incredible play, juking the guy... And planting the bomb and, and having a successful round of a 1v1 search and destroy. Uh, that's where, that's my, my you know, thoughts on it. I think that that should be gone. Um, C4's gone. Claymore is gone. Anything that, that isn't really user controlled. Uh, like right there. Look at that. Like come on. Who knows if Sharp would have clutched that or not. You know what I mean? That's, what, that's why I don't, I don't think that, that that should be in competitive play. Uh, as far as score streaks go, like, you know, other score streaks like the Hunter Drone, um, the, the Dragonfire, anything that basically gets kills except for, like, the War Machine is 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 cool in my book. It may be another one, uh, one of the higher-ups that are just ridiculous, but um, anything that gives you kills is, is fine in my book because I feel like if you get that... Um, dying to one of the, or to something like that isn't really an issue. I haven't really played this game and complained about something that kills me. I haven't complained about airstrikes at all. I haven't complained about a helicopter um, because it's all you could you could take it down easily. You know, if somebody gets a helicopter, guess what? You have a class and you can just shoot it down. Boom. That's all it takes. You have four people on one team. There's no reason why one person can't shoot that down. Um, so that's how I feel about helicopters. Uh, as far as airstrikes go, that's cool. It, it brings entertainment value. And this is where I was going to tell you guys um, how I understand both sides of, you know, the story. So basically, you have to look at it like YouTubers. Why? Like, I've always, as a competitive player, I've always asked myself, why is it that my job is to be the best, right? My job is to be the best player that I could possibly be. When YouTubers and casual players play this game, they don't have that mentality. They have, Their job is to just get 100 kills a game or 80 kills a game you know get certain score streaks when you're playing against ram bob 12 it's, it's easy to do that okay but the thing is is the entertainment value behind it is much more high it's in much more higher demand than it is to watch somebody like myself drop 20 kills against good players so you got to understand how they're looking at it how the viewer how the casual gamer is looking at it they want to they want to do they want to watch something 
that they can't do, right? Now, keep in mind, I'm, I'm basically, I'm talking about what they can't do. When you play a capture the flag game, you always drop over 20 kills, right? Regardless of what it is. Uh, in public match, if it's a 4v4, regardless, you're, you're always going to drop 20 kills. But one thing that's really hard to do in public match or public gameplay or in a casual sense is, you know, dropping 80 kills, dropping 100 kills. I think right now the highest kills, like the highest uh, person with the most kills is like 149 kills or something like that. You know, it's hard to do that. People want to watch that because everything else around them is easy. Dropping 20 kills is easy. Dropping 5 to 8 kills in S&D is easy for them. Um, they don't... But this is... And I know you guys are probably saying, well, they're not playing against good players. And that's my point, too. But you have to understand how they're looking at it. They're not being taught. They're not being shown that competitive gameplay is... is this is why it's special. You know what I mean? They're not being shown these LAN events. They don't understand what it's like to play competitively. So you have to understand that you can't go into it uh, single-minded and just be all for one thing without understanding the other. So I understand that. Um, by adding score streaks, right, there's a positive to it. Because now, not only are you appealing to what their game style is, which is the 98% of the people that play the game, compared to the 2% of people that play competitively, not only are you appealing to them, but it makes it uh, less of a burden for us to actually try to grow. Now all we really need, since we're adding score streaks to competitive play, is great advertisement. And once we get great advertisement, people who play the game that don't know about competitive are going to be interested because not only is it what they play, but it's there's something more to it other than just public matches. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Like... What's been dividing our community is two separate communities. Competitive with no kill streaks, casual with kill streaks. You know, you have to give them something enter like to watch, something that they can relate to, and that's exactly why I believe adding score streaks would help. I don't think, however, adding score streaks to get viewership is going to work. I don't think having somebody get a hunter a hunter killer drone and throwing it out there or a helicopter or you know dogs that's not going to make it's not going to make the uh the viewership go up ultimately what makes the viewership go up is the developer the publisher everything uh, everything that's behind the game promoting the game if you have that you're going to get uh you're going to get really good results i want to be able to sign on call of duty and i want to say hey uh, i, I want a message to pop up right that says check out major league gaming October 12th through, you know, 16th, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I want to see. People need to see that. Whenever there's a major stream on, uh, whenever there's a major game being played, it needs to be put on on um, the Black Ops menu screen. It has to be there. Like, League of Legends. I've recently just got into League of Legends. I didn't know jack shit. It took about two weeks for me to be, f like, to me to fully understand what League of Legends was about. And the only reason I know what League of Legends is about right now is because, one, Luffy told me a little bit about it, and two, I just basically studied up on it off of the, 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 the game itself, the platform, how they set it up. It's just all right in front of you. So if we're going to be getting developer support, we need to be getting the right developer support. We shouldn't be arguing whether or not kill streaks or score streaks should be in the game. We shouldn't be trying to split the community. Um, the European scene, I understand where they're coming from because they don't really have the fan base that we have. They don't They don't have the following that we have. Uh, that's why you see some of their pro players with like 900 followers. And I understand where they're coming from because if they add score streaks, they're going to be pissing off the people that they've been building for so long uh, to even make it uh, with the community that it is now. So I understand, but the problem is is that if they do go this route and they don't add score streaks, they're going to be tearing apart both the communities even more. You have to have a universal play set. You have to have a universal universal rule set for people to actually, for a community to grow. You can't have people in Europe playing different rules than people in North America. You have to make everybody, uh, you know, you have to have everybody um, on the same page. You have to make sure that they're all um, attracted to what you're playing. If not, it's just going to be separate or segregated, which is not good. But that's just my thoughts on it. I hope you guys understand. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, please put them in the comment box. This was a close game versus LVG, by the way. Um, 
yeah, it was a nice little comeback that we got. And we were using score streaks and stuff. But anyway, it's Boy Moho. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. We'll catch y'all later. Peace.